we're going to be looking at an experiment to determine Planck's constant using LEDs. This is the circuit that is needed where we have a variable resistor which is part of the potential divider circuit and we can vary the output voltage across R1 with the variable resistor and the output from R1 is connected to our LED. And we use the variable resistor to adjust the voltage across the LED until it just lights up. And it's best to view the LED through a black tube. So it will be easier to see when the LED just lights up without being disturbed by the ambient, that is the surrounding light. When the LED just lights up, the energy conversion taking place in the LED is electrical energy is being converted into photon energy, which is the light being emitted. And we're assuming 100% efficiency in this conversion. So we can say then that the electrical energy that is lost, that's being transferred by the electrons, which is given by the charge of the electron, E, multiplied by the potential difference, V, that the electrons moved through. And V is the voltage across the LED, which we say is the threshold voltage, the minimum voltage needed for current to flow in the LED and for light to be emitted. And we're saying this electrical energy is converted into the photon energy, which is H Planck's constant times the frequency of the light that is emitted. And then we can repeat the experiment for a range of LED colours, which will have different frequencies and then hence different threshold voltages. And then we can plot a graph of the energy lost by the electron, which is the charge of the electron multiplied by the voltage. So this will need to be this energy will need to be in joules. And that will be against the frequency of the light emitted. So if we compare the energy conversion equation with the general equation for a straight line, we can see along our y-axis we've plotted EV. Our x-axis is our frequency. And so M, the gradient, equals Planck's constant.